All right, perfect. All right, so welcome to Fayetteville. Yes, sir. Um, yes. Today I have the honor of talking to John Dubow. John is a alumni with the Wounded Warrior Project, and I have the honor to be able to meet you today, John. So uh, first I want to thank you for spending your time. I know it's a Sunday um, on a 4th of July weekend. No problem. I appreciate your time spending doing this for the Wounded Warrior Project. Well, I appreciate you saying that, but the honor is really all mine. So in standing with us is John's wife. Vicki. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and his life coach. James. All right. With the neuro community. And James showed up on a motorcycle, so I automatically really like James, <laughs> which is good. I'm not so sure how well he'll do on dirt, but on the road, James is going to do really good. So, John, one of the things that I wanted to accomplish here, one, is just meeting you. It's a great honor. Uh, first, thank you for your service and the sacrifices you made for all of us. I've never served in the military or the armed forces, uh, but I'm thankful for people like you that allow me to do what I do. Uh, I understand that there goes an ambulance. Um, I understand that freedom's not free. And so that's a big reason why I'm out here and I'm doing this. So thank you for everything that, that you've done. You're so, welcome. You're a good you're welcome. guy. I've really enjoyed getting to know you here in the time we've been able to chat. So tell me a little bit, one thing that, you know, people always see Wounded Warrior or they see the logos and these types of things, but I don't really think they really understand really what's behind it. So I just wanted really just one simple question of what, you know, Wounded Warriors has really done for you. The integrity of, of the integrity of understanding that we'll never be who we were, but it's our job to find out due to our energy, to our inner injury who we are and to bring out the positivity in us so that we're functional again to the best of what ability we have kind of like in poker you're never dealt a straight flush but you can sure win a hand with a set of threes and a set of twos just don't give up <laughs> just don't give up that's there you go the, that's the project keep going on your journey you never know what you'll experience tomorrow I, you know, I'm learning a lot about you. You like baseball, and now you've got some uh, some poker in there. So <laughs> you're my type of guy. I like <laughs> things baseball that, and poker. This is good. I like things that kind of I can coordinate with, and that I can actually physically see yeah. how it plays out. So you're um, part of the alumni. So tell me what part of the alumni means. Uh, the alumni is the folks that are actually uh, the the warriors that are actually injured, either over in the in the in the war zone or injured while they were in the military themselves. Like mine, I did 23 years and I was injured after I had served, but I was a civilian, but I was injured afterwards working for the military. Okay, all right, so Vicki? Yeah. Um, Tell me what, know, what Wounded Warriors, because you know, the, the, the support group, the family, the yes. impact that it has on the caregivers. Well, um, with John and I, uh, we spend 24 hours a day together, which all caregiver, care, caregivers know that I'm talking about. Um, but the Neuro Community Care through Wounded Warrior Project has come in and brought people like James into our life and Miss Jenny, um, who have helped to get John back into the public, the mainstream because um, it's hard for a lot of the warriors to be out in public because um, even something simple like that ambulance going by um, is a triggering point for our military veterans who've been hurt and uh, they just they don't feel like they should be back out in public so um, having them come in like people like James come in and um, be able to take John uh, into the main street uh, they go to the gym and work out. They uh, go shopping, grocery shopping, and sometimes they go to John's favorite store, Ollie's, <laughs> and uh, just do, um, J James works with John with nutrition, trying to get him back into it. We're very proud of the fact that John takes no hard medications. He does wear a lidocaine patch. Um, the power of positivity that comes through the Neuro Community Care people, um, like James and John's first coach, Eddie, it, it gets him back to wanting to be part of the community again and where he's uh, learning to give back. 
because um, the Wounded Warrior Project has, we spent every day at home for a year and a half. Wow. And uh, so one day we saw the commercial on TV and it was just life-changing. Life John said, maybe we should go and call them. So we walked him to the office. Wow. And it was at the other location in Morgan But here in Fayetteville. Here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Wow. And within just a matter of minutes, it was like they knew. And that we thought we were alone. <laughs> and we're wow. not alone. You're not alone. <laughs> that is, uh, you know, when I met uh, Leslie, who's helped me on this trip for Wounded Warriors, she said that's the number one problem they have is actually getting the, you know, the Wounded Warriors yeah. to ask for help or try to, you know, get associated um, because they feel like they're alone. Mm -hmm. So that's a great inspiration. You saw that on television and yeah. you, you, you well, made an action. The Wounded yeah. Warrior Project's kind of like a mechanic. If you have like a bolt that's a 7 16th, they might try to use a nine millimeter or 10 millimeter and use a hammer to try to get the socket on. Yeah. <laughs> the Wounded Warrior Project helps us select the right tool to do the right mission, like I a like mechanic that. reaching into a toolbox. I like that. And it's the best medication that you, 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 that you could ever prescribe for a human being. Wow. So James, although you ride a motorcycle, so like I said, I, I really like you already. Um, so tell us what you do. I, it's, man, it's, for me, it's 70-30, it's you know, he's 70% of it, I'm just that little bit of a, of a push, you know, to make sure that he's okay, um, and my job is to explain the world to John in a language that he can understand, um, and it's something that sometimes is challenging for, for other warriors, but some people catch on really quickly, but some people take a little bit more finesse, um, so long as you're patient with them, and you grow to understand them, you gain their trust, and show them that you're in it as much as they are, they come to understand that you're there for your best purposes. Wow, that's really good. So do you work for Wounded Warriors? I'm a contractor for them. Okay. I'm through a company called New York Community Care out in the okay. Wake Forest. Um, I've been working with them for almost two years now um, as a brain injury specialist, and it's wow. been a life-changing experience for me. Wow. These guys are amazing individuals, absolutely amazing. Well, thanks for do, doing what you do. No, oh, it's, it's a pleasure of all mine, man. This is just an incredible opportunity. John said nothing but nice things just a short period of time I've been here, so that's uh, had nice things to say about you. Don't let John lie to you. So. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I'd like people to, to know about us wounded warriors, we're not disabled. We're capable in a different direction with a little bit of guidance. Well, you are an inspiration. You have a great support group, but uh, you are you have a very positive outlook. I'm sure you have your days, but I'm going to tell you, I'm very impressed. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, you are a you're a good guy. You just try to end your day better than you arrived in it. Yeah. And knowing that not a single one of us has ever promised tomorrow. Well, I'm going to carry this interview with me forever. I really do appreciate the time, you know, that you've come out to spend with me and just talk with me for a few minutes. So I want you all to have a very, you know, happy Fourth of July weekend. And thanks again for everything that you know you did and the sacrifices you made for all of us. And I only wish you the best. Now, one thing I can say is with Kevin, this is just an outstanding logistic. All the the stuff that put into this for us as a lawyer, I can't say thank you enough for for doing this for. All of us veterans and warriors, thank you very much. Well, I appreciate you saying that, buddy. Thank, thank you very much. You. Thank you, Kevin. You're a good guy. <laughs>